So hey guys and welcome to another edition of The Blue Bridge and as the Premier League gathers momentum an electrifying clash awaits football fans as West Ham United take on Chelsea at the London Stadium. Both teams are entering this fixture with high hopes and the potential for some exciting debuts and performances on display. <laughs> So guys, I hope you like that intro today, but I've got a confession to make. That wasn't my words, that was chat GPT. I typed in, um, write me a preview for Chelsea versus West Ham, West Ham versus Chelsea. Um, and you know, I wanted to see if I can do a script and see how it goes. But you know what? Never rely on chat GPT. You know, first of all, it's not authentic. It's not you. I like to be myself and it's factually incorrect. So. If you were first coming into football and you didn't know anything and you were just give, given, you know, like those people on Sky Sports News who re don't really know a lot about football, but um, some of them don't, and they're just reading off the auto cue. And if somebody had given them this to read, um, the first, after the first paragraph after the intro, this is what they'd have said West Ham recently made headlines with the signing of Lavia. Hmm? Lavia. And there's a buzz around whether he'll make his debut in a high-profile encounter against Chelsea. Additionally, all eyes will be on Moise Caicedo as a talented midfielder is in line to make his debut for the Hammers. Uh, their presence on the pitch could add a new dimension to West Ham's gameplay, injecting fresh energy and unpredictability. Um, when I did my keywords, I said Chelsea signed... Uh, Lavia and Caicedo. I'm not sure whether they understood what I said. So, you know, it's not as clever as it seems, this AI. So, I'm okay. I'm still in a job for now. So, AI can't, you know, they, they, they can't do the job that humans do. Anyway, so, Chelsea made the headlines recently with the sign of Lavia. So, Lavia is now a blue. It was confirmed today at 10, 10 a.m. So, He's in line to make his debut, yes. Um, will, will he make his debut? I don't think so. Um, he's going to have one session of training. If he's okay with the training, he may be on the bench, but I can't see him playing. I think Pochettino's probably already done the training for the week. But Moise Caicedo, because he signed earlier on in the week, I think he's in line to make his debut. And yes, as Chat GPT, GPT said, they can give Chelsea a fresh energy and unpredictability. So they, the way that um, Caicedo can perform with Enzo Fernandez is something that everybody is looking forward to see. So, on the other end, so West Ham. West Ham have signed um, Alvarez. Um, so Alvarez was somebody who was of interest to Chelsea. This isn't chat GPT now, sorry, it's me. So um, Alvarez was of interest to Chelsea and he, we nearly signed him um, last December, Jan was it January time we signed it? Was it all, was it at the end of the window? I think it was at the end of the window, wasn't it? Yeah, because we bought in, um, yeah, it was, we nearly bought him at the end of the summer window because um, that's when we missed out on some of our other targets. And uh, so we were scratching around deadline day to see who we can get. Uh, we couldn't get him in time. So we ended up uh, with, what's that guy's name? Uh, guy from Juventus. That's why I need chat GPT here. I can't remember the guy's name now. And he was with us all season. You know the one I'm talking about. He'll probably come back to me later on in this video. So um, Alvarez. So the thing is, and what we need to do, we need to be careful of Zachariah, that's it, I'll tell you, come back to me, Zachariah. So we need to be careful of set plays because West Ham have not only have they brought in Alvarez, they've also brought in the free kick demon and the set play demon in um, uh, James Ward Prowse. And uh, he, from free kicks and corners, he's deadly. And the other thing is, Alvarez is known for being very good in the air. Kurt Zuma is known for being very good in the air. So they've got an aerial threat there and somebody who can um, put in decent corners. So we need to be on top of our game. I know a lot of people are look, um, looking at their predicted Chelsea lineups for tomorrow. And um, so some of them have, have lost, left, left out um, De Sassi. But for this reason, I think De Sassi will play. De Sassi is known for his um, aerial strength. So I believe that he will play. 
Um, we may st stick to three at the back. And it's mainly because of the, the height that we lack within the team. So um, Thiago Silva is also a very good in the air. And we've got um, uh, uh, Colwell, he's, he's good in the air as well. And or the other option may be, it may be a surprise, Gusto may miss out. And um, if we want to go four, and we may see De Sassi at right back. You never know. But um, I think for the era threat of West Ham, we're going to need height in the side. So we are going to be going for our taller players because that's let's face it that's their main threat because um it'll be interesting to see how they play without Declan Rice because he was their he was their main guy um Pacatau West um Man City were looking at him but I don't think he's he's going to be joining this for no, this week as, as, at least so he'll be available to play for them and so if they had lost Pacatau and Rice that would be a massive loss for them They've got Danny Ings up front as well. They've brought him in um, last season. So uh, they are a, a, a decent outfit. But a Chelsea on top of their game, I think we should have enough to, to, to beat them. But, you know, it's football. It's a London derby. They always... Uh, when they always raise their game when they play Chelsea because they, they, they always like to get one over Chelsea. Um, and so we need to make sure that we are up for the fight against um, West Ham United. Uh, so we need to get get a win. So we, we drew at the weekend. So it's, it'll be important for us to, to try and, and, and get a win in this game. Maurizio Pochettino had his press conference and uh, he mentioned about Reece James's injury because a lot of people were asking about the, the James injury and a lot of us were pan and I don't know where the reports came from that he may be out for months but he was sort of less concerned he said he's going to look at it week, day by day but it's going to be weeks he was saying so it's weeks rather than months and he'll be assessed regularly to see how he gets on so that is better news for us on on that front so um, we got to see how, how how it pans out and um so my result my prediction for today for sunday's game um oh it's going to be a tight one i'm going to say chelsea 2-1 just about 2-1 in this game so hope i'm right so stick your predictions in the comment section below and just before i go I want to give you a little bit more of uh, ChatGBT, again, just to show you that you cannot rely on them. So it says, the clash between the two teams promises a blend of skill, strategy and determination. Chelsea's attacking prowess and midfield dominance led by the likes of Mason Mount and N'Golo Kante will be met by West Ham's sturdy defence and dynamic midfield duo of Declan Rice and Thomas Suchek. So I'm not sure where they're getting their data from, but ChatGBT, you're a little bit out of sync here. So listen to us all. Don't rely on ChatGBT when you're doing your uh, previews or anything on YouTube. Do your own research, have your own knowledge, because the knowledge of the human brain is better than the knowledge of a computer. See, proven, you've heard it here. So guys, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video and I will see you later. Bye-bye.